Well, it's about 22 after the hour. Another Money Monday on tap for you this morning, sponsored by Farmer State Bank. With us making her second Everyday Iowa appearance, appearance Tammy Yamilkowski. Did I get it right? You got it. Good enough. Uh, with us from Farmer State Bank. Remind everybody what you do at the bank before we talk about what the bank does. Sure. I'm the Vice President of Mortgage Lending at Farmer State Bank. Gotcha. Today's topic is Credit 101. Yes. Question number one, what is credit? Well, credit is basically the cost of money, mm -hmm. the cost of borrowing money. So you and I both go to the bank to buy a car. Your credit is excellent. Mine is mediocre. Okay. You're going to, maybe your payment's going to be $100 less per month than mine. And over five years, that same car will cost me $6,000 more because my credit is not as good as yours. Potentially, assuming I can get the car loan. And what is that based on? I know that, that's a, that's a $64,000 question because what do you base that number on? Sure. Well, your credit is scored by the credit bureaus, and that's basically a measure of your willingness to pay people back. Okay. So you borrow money, you pay it back. You borrow money, you pay it back. And by borrow money, I mean just on a credit card, however it is that you're borrowing money. As long as you're paying it back, you're building your credit. Gotcha. Now let's talk about drawbacks. Well, benefits and drawbacks of credit. Let's start with the positive. What are the benefits? The ability to buy. Okay. The drawback is that if you lack credit or you have bad credit, everything is harder. Okay. I'm going to ask you a silly question. Just because my nephew right now is 16, he's working on getting a car. You have to have credit before you can get credit. How does that work? So... I would encourage parents to, if you have good credit, mm -hmm. perhaps add your child to your credit card as an authorized user and teach them at 16 the value of credit because you learn that at 16, not at 25. Mm -hmm. So it's really easy to, things go wrong between 18 and 25 if we don't teach our kids how to use their credit better. At 16, they can't go get a car loan. Mom and dad are gonna have to help them with that. Yep. But at 18, if they've established credit and you've taught them the value of credit, they can. We've talked about car loans. Let's talk about the biggest loan that some people will take out, mortgage. Mm -hmm. How does credit factor into that? Well, take that car loan, multiply it by to a 30-year term as opposed to that five-year term. Mm -hmm. And I just paid $50,000 more for the same exact house than you did just because my credit wasn't as strong as yours. So everything is multiplied. How far back, do, let's say, you know, when you go to apply for credit, you know, they'll, they'll investigate your score, but you lose points because of that. How far back does something like that go? I know I'm putting you yeah, on the spot this morning. You should have brought the game show so, buzzers and everything out for you. <laughs> so it's a 120-day look back on the credit inquiries, but truly, if you're getting a mortgage inquiry, it's not going to hurt your credit score. Okay. That's not good. You can get one, two, probably three credit mortgage inquiries, and it's not going to hurt your credit score. Car loans are different. Okay. If you get three, four, five of those, that does. Credit card inquiries, that does. I think mortgage inquiries have a little bit different stand than what those do. Best advice right now, and I know it's hard to boil it down to like two minutes, but best advice for somebody who needs to build it or repair credit? What are just some steps people can be doing right now who are watching this? Say, hey, I could use a little help. What could they do? Make a plan. Make a plan, learn to budget, practice budgeting, be disciplined about budgeting. Talk to a professional. Mm -hmm. We love to help people. 12 months before you're ready to buy a house, come see us. You just know that you might want to buy a house. Come see us. We'll take a look at what you have going on and we'll help you create a budget. We'll help you figure out how to save money, practice making that mortgage payment. If your rent is 800 and your mortgage payment is going to be 1,000, you should be saving $200 a month mm -hmm. at least. So we'll help you show, we'll help show you how to do that. Gotcha. What are some things, you know, on the opposite end of the spectrum, maybe three things to not do uh, in, when it comes to credit? Um, I'd be very careful when, what, what I see when I pull credit is sometimes if you go buy a car and you have like eight inquiries on car loans, mm -hmm. that will drastically hurt your credit score. Okay. So I'd be careful with that. Um, don't feel like you have to have a credit card and have a balance on a credit card. You okay. don't. Pay it back. Borrow the money, pay it back. All you want to do is show your willingness to pay back the money. So get that little card, buy a tank of gas every month, 
pay it back every month. Put everything on auto pay if you can. Okay. Then you don't have to think so much about it. Gotcha. But that's the key is that you have to pay it back. Borrow money, pay it back. Borrow money, pay it back. That's going to build your credit. And the best thing to do is to call a professional like you because you can really dive into that. How can people get a hold of you? Call us at the bank. 377-4891 at Farmer State Bank. There you go. Online.